if you're a marketing data scientist or even any type of data scientist early, if you are thinking of starting your own business but not sure that you really have what it takes in order to make it on your own, then this video is for you. That's because in this video, I'm gonna share with you one of the coolest success stories I have of from clients in my business, which is a guy who started out, he still has a very small, very, very intimate group of online followers, not a big online following, no email list. And when he started with me, he didn't even have a website yet. In 18 months, he's been able to secure $370,000 of contracts for his marketing data science company using the methods I taught him. So I'm gonna share with you his entire story and how he actually did it. Be sure to stay to the end because that's where I'm gonna break it down for you step by step on what he actually did to achieve those results so quickly. For the very best data leadership and business building advice, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when a new episode drops each week. Also, huge shout out to the community. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the comments and all of the love and all of the requests for content that you've been sending me. I've been getting that and just it really goes a long way to growing this channel and so I really appreciate it and thank you. As far as why I'm sharing this story now, I have been working all year on a rewrite of my book, Data Science for dummies and in the last chapter I wanted to include some success stories of my clients and so I got a hold of Cam Lee the guy you're gonna hear his story got a hold of him in June and he let me know some exciting developments in his business so I could include them in the data science for dummies edition three by the way we're having a launch party for that if you would like to join us I will leave a link to where you can sign up below oh yeah and I'm Lillian Pearson I support data professionals to becoming world-class data leaders and entrepreneurs okay let's get going with the story first let me start by just introducing who this client is and like I said his name is Cam Lee Cameron Lee and he is a marketing data scientist extraordinaire he has the posh apartment in New York City he has traveled the world to all sorts of exotic destinations he's been featured in Bloomberg and founder magazine and he has been successful in driving over two billion dollars in revenue growth for his customers through his marketing data science services. He really focuses on media mix modeling and lead scoring as well as building out custom AI solutions for fintech companies and e-commerce companies. In short, he's a freaking badass. But less than a decade ago, he was trying to figure out to do with his marketing expertise. And so he had decided, so I will learn data science and I will go from a marketer to a marketing data scientist. And that's exactly what he did. So back in 2015, he started reading books and taking online courses. In fact, Cam Lee is the exact prototype Type of who I had in mind when I created the self-taught data scientist curriculum. I think that was back in 2017, 2018. Anyway, I've updated it and it's included in my Badass's Guide to Breaking Into Data. I will put a link to that in the description below if you want to get that ebook. It's free. Anyway though, so Cam Lee, he had learned data science and he was doing some freelancing work, but then he got caught up in what he calls, which I like this, low budget hamster wheel. He basically just had some really yucky clients and was getting paid far less than he was actually, his skills were actually worth on the open market. So he signed up for my coaching program back in 2019. And then within just a few short months, I hear from Cam Lee that he used my methods and landed a $96,000 contract, which I was beyond excited for. That was like, that was awesome, you know, because I was still kind of new as a business mentor then. And so just seeing my clients winning, you know, it was like, okay, I'm onto something here. It's not just me that this works for. And, and, and I just love seeing people, people succeed. But then I caught up to him last September and his situation had gotten better, like much better. He had successfully throwing out his contracts to $200,000 per year in annual recurring revenue. When I was at this resort over in Copenhagen, he sent me an Instagram DM that he had gotten another $150,000 contract for annual recurring revenues for another another client of his, right? So putting him at $350,000 in revenue in just 10 months after starting to use the methods I taught him inside my coaching program. So of course I'm like, that is so freaking, that's exactly, you know, that's it. That's exactly, wow. But then <laughs> we've been keeping in touch. And as I said, I'm updating, I'm rewriting Data Science for Dummies. And so I caught up to him a, I think this was like a fourth time um, about his progress. He had landed 
In the 18 months since joining the program, he had landed 15 contracts worth $310,000, and he'd also pre-sold $60,000 worth of his AI SaaS solutions. So he's been building an AI SaaS software on the side of delivering services as an agency. And get this, his profit margins are 67% now, but he is building in um, automation and setting up his processes so that his business runs a bit more efficiently. And he expects that within a year or two, he's gonna be at 75 to 80% profit margins. So all of these products and services are sold through his business, Fine Tooth Analytics. And it's just really exciting to see how far he has come in the last 18 months. And you may be thinking to yourself, yeah, Lillian, but that's just too good to be true. And honestly, if you were any other type of business owner beyond a data business, then you might be right because 67% profit margins, 80% profit margins, that's a literally unheard of in traditional business. In fact, for perspective, I did some research before creating this video. It looks like um, retail companies, like grocery stores and all of that are at 0.5 to 7% profit margins. So can we bust in here? In 10 months, he's $300,000 at 67% profit margins. It's incredible. And you know, it's not just incredible for him though, it's incredible for all of us because we are data professionals and data services, data products. Uh, this is the hottest industry that you can possibly be in right now. And it's because it's all digital and the expertise is so valuable, you can have extraordinary profit margins just coming out of the gate. I have to say you guys, I think uh, without tourists, Sala Shuang might be the very best YouTube recording place on the planet. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Okay, so like I just mentioned, Cam has been building an AI SaaS product, and I've said it many times before, but I'm gonna say it again. Services are the quickest, fastest way to start your business. However, services are also the least scalable. So if you start out with a service-based business model, then you need to quickly transition to either agency or software as a service. If you wanna be able to have any bit of manageability and good profit margins. And you know, agencies are cool, and yes, you can turn a decent profit, but it's a lot of management work, and it's also a lot of liability and like overhead because you've got people involved and people are prone to error. So if you have the capability to develop your own AI SaaS product, that would be the very best, I think, the very best way to transition out of the services business and into something that's way more scalable, but you can't scale a services business. So, you know, that's what Cam Lee really did is he went ahead, he, he got the contracts, he offered services at first, but then he quickly turned that into an agency where he brought in other people to help him and everything. And then on the side, what he's been doing is he's been building his AI software. And right now, I think for, for now, he's using it to basically decrease the amount of manual work that's required in delivering his services. But then once he's got those, those requirements scoped out, he's going to package them up and offer them as a suite where he doesn't actually have to render the services. He can just provide the AI SaaS for his clients. So the nice thing about what Kim did is he focused on getting profitable first, and then he brought in support. He built his processes and brought in support and people to help him deliver those. As he's been working on growing his business, he's also been building a client base, and he's been learning more about their requirements and really nailing down his business so that when he's building out his AI SaaS, like as I said, he's got $60,000 in, in pre-sales on an annual basis from clients he already acquired through his services, right? So he's not just building an AI SaaS and hoping someone will buy it. He's actually working with clients, understanding their needs and developing a solution for them all in the same time while reaching massive profitability. So if you have the capacity, I would say that this is the very, very best way to self-fund your AI SaaS startup. Speaking of super duper profitable data science products, I created a video on how to create a $450,000 per month AI product. And we'll leave a link to it in the description below as well as in the cards to this video if you'd like to check it out. Okay, so congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. So I'm gonna give you your stay to the end bonus. And these are the exact steps that Cam Lee took in order to have such a remarkable success over the last 18 months. Now I got these straight from him verbatim, by the way. Like I said, first thing he did, number one, was he took courses on data science implementation. So he took coding courses and read books on data science, and also marketing data science. In fact, he did take my Python uh, building recommendation engines and Python course over on LinkedIn. I know that, he told me. But by doing so, he sharpened his data science expertise and trans successfully transitioned himself from marketer to marketing data scientist. Step two is he began taking contracts as a um, independent marketing data scientist. And so, um, like I said, though, he got caught up in the low budget hamster wheel, which is why he signed up for my coaching program. So what he found is that his offers were not differentiated enough from market competitors his ideal client wasn't clear enough and um, he wasn't presenting 
the monetary value of the services he's able to render. Bring it to step three, he joined my coaching program and started investing in his data business in order to take it to the next level. So what he says that helped him the most from our time together was his market research. He really, really doubled down on market research. He defined who the influencers and team members and close associates were that could really help him reach his business goals. He refined his offers and developed those out and also adjusted his positioning and, and improved his positioning. He also took some of the of the higher maintenance, low, lower performing offers and, and turned them into products. And he even went one step further than just um, building his SOPs. He started using Python to actually automate some of that work instead of delegating it, which I thought is really cool. So those are the three steps he attributes to his rapid success. I hope this recording environment has been okay for you. It's a little intense, isn't it? With I don't know if you can even see me, but um, thanks for sticking through. If you are still considering starting your own data business, then I've got a really cool toolkit. It's called the Data Entrepreneur Toolkit. It is the 32 very best tools and processes that I used and I still use in my business. And we use those to scale to the multiple six figure mark. So you can see what those tools are and how I use them in the toolkit. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Also, I'd like to invite you to our free Facebook group called, called Becoming World Class Data Leaders and Entrepreneurs. Um, there's a link to that in the description below as well. And if you like this video, be sure to show it some love by giving it a thumbs up and telling me in the comments below, what is your favorite aspect of working as a data scientist?